Well, in a special report every day, there are nearly 10 accidental drownings in the US. According to the CDC, that's 3500 people every year who die in water. Within these numbers is a startling fact. The fatal drowning rate of black children is three times higher than white children. I spoke to activists and athletes about the reasons why. We have all the bodies of water around us and it's hot, right? So everybody wants to cool off. Story after story of drownings and disappearances. The unforgiving waters of the Mississippi River, where so many took their last stroke, never to be seen again. Drowning is such a huge issue, especially here in Louisiana. Not too long ago, a man without a life jacket took his last breath in these waters. Several weeks prior, three young lives lost to the river forever. The drownings are happening in creeks and streams too. A Denham Springs teen drowned in a pond in May. In many cases, the victims did not know how to swim. According to the Louisiana Child Death Review Report, drowning was the third leading cause of death for children up to 14 years old between 2017 and 2019. 2020 was one of the deadliest in recent history. That year, Louisiana experienced a 60% increase in child drownings. Last year, 25 children died. It is a much uh, more significant problem for minority youth. If you look at the demographics, a glaring disparity. The CDC says the fatal drowning rate of African American children is three times higher than white children. At the YMCA, uh, you know, we offer some lessons at all of our locations. Our, our total initiative around doing that is not only teach children how to swim, but how to also be safe around the water. The YMCA and the USA Swimming Foundation found that 64% of black children cannot swim, compared to only 40% of white children. The question then becomes why? Well, the agencies cite cultural and historical factors that explain why children of color are at a higher risk of drowning. Especially in a lot of minority families, a lot of the reasons that their children don't know how to swim is because parents don't. Generations who can't swim, brought on by decades of segregation. History can't predict the future, but it can inform the future. In the 1950s and 60s, the capital city, like so many other parts of the country, was right in the thralls of Jim Crow. The city had two public pools. It was built in the 1920s, and it was actually the second public pool in Baton Rouge. And of course, uh, neither of those pools were available to our African-American communities. As a result, black kids would swim in the Mississippi River, creeks, and even drainage ditches, many of them drowning. You don't have currents in a swimming pool. You don't have drop off in a swimming pool, but we couldn't swim in the pool. Here's a newspaper clipping showing history repeating itself. So their parents and their relatives would say, you make sure you don't go swimming because my grandson drowned last week and it begins a phobia. But local freedom fighters protested. On July 23rd, 1963, 3250 black swimmers attempted to enter the city park pool. Five activists were arrested that day. A uh, swimming, they called it. Younger activists were becoming uh, more insistent on equality um, and this effort was led by uh, members of the NAACP in town. To overcome segregation, Brooks Park was created and in it sits the city Brooks Park pool, a place for Baton Rouge's black community to swim. These people still had the fortitude to you know, stand up, brush themselves off, carry on, and move forward. City Brooks Park Pool is one of the few public pools open today in Baton Rouge. It reminds swimmers like Herman Kelly Jr. It grabbed me and it became, it became my passion. Of why he wants to teach swimming in the first place. Even though we had discrimination, I'm teaching another generation. We got to bypass all of that and we got to learn how to swim. Dr. Kelly is an underwater legend, often swimming 1500 yards a day, a champion athlete, a Florida native who spent years in Baton Rouge, encouraging children of color to jump in. You learn self-discipline. You learn to wake up early. You learn to work hard. Kelly says children need swimming lessons and parents should start them off young just like Bryson Barrett. I've working here 2019, been here ever since. Who began swimming in middle school, carefully gliding with every stroke. 
At just 19, he is a swim instructor at the AC Lewis YMCA, and he competes, showing younger black children they can do it too. I just want them to be comfortable in water, you know. A lot of people are afraid of the water. I like to see the smile on the uh, parents' faces. Bryson says he wants to beat back misconceptions. I want people to get rid of that, stere you know, that stereotype that black people can't swim. And wants to teach children how to get in the water safely so that their first dive won't be their last. I just tell them it's just water, you know, be bigger than the water. Now we did some checking and the City Brooks pool is open Wednesday through Sunday from 2 to 5 for public swimming. They also offer private lessons as well. Brex Liberty Lagoon is also hosting the world's largest swim lesson day on Friday from 8 to 9 a.m. For more information, you can visit VRProud.com.